it's just not something they look for. So it's not, they're not aware of it. A University of Arizona scientist says dentists can play a much bigger role in addition to the typical traditional teeth cleaning and cavity filling. He says dentists can help identify domestic abuse. Our Brianna Whitney went to the School of Medicine to find out how. Uh, first for you though, we have a warning. Uh, some of these images might be hard to look at. This scientist says there's really no guidelines or instructions for dentists on what exactly to look for in patients that could be victims of domestic abuse. So now they hope by working to educate dentists here in the valley, this will spread and make an impact all over the country. Dr. Jonathan Lifshitz will be the first to tell you he's not a dentist. He's a scientist, yet his recent work is all about what's inside someone's mouth. We want to highlight the fact that dentists might have a unique point of view to identify signs and symptoms of domestic violence. He teamed up with a dental student and published an article in the Journal of Aggression, Maltreatment and Trauma. After the two realized dentists could be some of the first people to identify domestic abuse victims because dentists are required to report abuse to social services. How many are we missing? Of course. And so can we capture them with dentists? Often they're scared. They're afraid to report. Samantha Mendez is a forensic nurse and took specific training to be able to identify oral injuries. She says when patients come to her, they've already been identified as victims. But often, victims feel ashamed of the abuse and don't come forward. I see a lot of patients that have um, broken or chipped teeth. They have bruises inside of the mouth. They have lacerations or cuts. Um, so we see quite a few patients that have injury inside of the mouth. She says dentists could compare those to their patients past oral history to see if something seems off. They also can look for less obvious signs she's seen too. Really small uh, red dots that you might see often like on the roof of the mouth and that just means that there's been some sort of pressure buildup from usually the veins in the neck. She says that could mean they've been strangled. The team is hoping to share results from dentists in the valley in the next few months, hoping to make a difference with a different side of dentistry. In Phoenix, Brianna Whitney for Arizona's Family.